Good morning, Falls City Middle School. It is Thursday, March 25th. Can you believe it's Thursday already? It feels like it was just Monday. So Thursday, March 25th, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sorry about that, Mr. Lampy. I went kind of fast there. I erased my slowdown on the pledge thing, so that's on me. All right. No birthdays or unbirthdays today, so that's kind of crazy. And for lunch on nobody's birthday, we're having rib patty sandwich, oven potatoes, corn, grapes, and milk. That's a good one. Solid day right there. Uh, let's see. You, yesterday in homeroom, went over the classes that will be available to you to sign up for for lunch block next year. Now, you're going to sign up on Friday in PE. If you're gone, don't worry. We'll find you. I've had some kids ask me because they were worried that they'd be gone. We'll find you. We'll get you signed up. But just remember, whatever you sign up for, your parents have to sign off on. So you're going to have to get them to sign it um, before it's official. All right? So your parents have to sign off on your classes. Remember, what you choose is what you get. We don't move you around because once we set that schedule, um, we're good to go. So make sure that you choose wisely because that is a year-long course and generally we do not let people out unless there's an emergency that requires us to do so. So take this process seriously, 6th and 7th graders. Um, there's some new classes, there's some old favorites, and, and one of the changes is art is now a choice. So you can take art or not. Um, every 6th grader takes it, but then in 7th and 8th, music and art become a choice for you guys. So it, you and your parents will work together on what you're going to take. Um, with that, next up, just a reminder that the Iditarod, we're trying to get everybody to bring two cans of food to school to your homeroom. I think that's still going on. Um, that's an old announcement, but I believe it's still going. So if you do that, that'd be great. We don't want to lose it to high school. And now for our AOK -okay of the day. First of all, shout out to our February AOK -okay winners, Isaac Frederick, Riker Jones and Wyatt Koontz, our resident Bills fan, were February AOK -okay winners, and I will be buying you lunch. I have a gazillion lunches I need to buy. I'm trying to get everybody, which reminds me, if you haven't emailed me what you want for lunch, you better get that to me because I'm getting ready to make a run. So I think I've given everybody long enough. So make sure you email me or you won't get it. I want to buy it for you. I really do, but I can't wait any longer because people are like, where's my hamburger? Miley Crawford, just asking me every day, when am I getting my hamburgers? I'm like, sorry, I'm working on it. So today might be it. All right, A-OK -okay of the day goes out to Caitlin Nelson and Taylor Moore for being empathetic, encouraging, and kind to a classmate who is very nervous about giving her speech. They talked her up and gave advice as well as confessions about their own nerves. They are rock stars for sensing this in a peer, and that is from... Miss Milam going out to Caitlin Nelson and Taylor Moore. Great job, ladies. And now for your words of wisdom for this Thursday, March 25th. And it's about choices. As we are in now, the 21st century, there seems to be a lot of talk about the future. What will the next thousand years be like? What will the future hold? Samuel Johnson, the first writer to organize an English dictionary, says this. The future is purchased by the present. In other words, the choices we make today clearly affect our future, right? Our individual choices affect our individual lives, and the choices we make today affect the future of the world around us. Let's think about that. If you choose to study hard today, you'll get a better grade on your test tomorrow, right? And if you choose to take care of your body, you'll enjoy, a, a better, enjoy better health in the future. So today, ask yourself this. What kind of future am I at? I am I purchasing for myself and the world around me? Then remember, smart choices today can buy you a better tomorrow. With something to think about, it's Mr. Banger. Make it a great day or not. The choice is always yours and yours alone. I will see you all tomorrow on Friday. See you guys. Have a great day.